to Simple Pong in Python 3 for Beginners, Part 7. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a little bit of sound to your game. Um, so just basically, you know, what you need to do to get started with that uh, is you need to have a sound. Uh, you need to have a sound file. And what I've done is I have downloaded this file from, uh, I forget the site now, but uh, it is bounce.wave, and it's like kind of a classic old school um, bouncing sound. You'll hear it in a minute. Uh, now, Python is generally pretty cross-platform. Um, basically, everything that we've done so far, it doesn't matter which uh, operating system you're using, uh, Linux, Mac, or Windows, uh, everything works the same. Sound is one of those things where it doesn't work the same. So right now I'm on a Mac, and I'm going to show you how to do it on a Mac, and then I'll talk about how you would do it then on Linux or Windows. Okay, so it's, it's a bit different. Okay. So the first thing I got to point out is that the, the sound that I found, bounce.wave, uh, and wave files generally are more compatible, cross-platform comp compatibility, uh, is in the exact same folder as my Python file. So right now I'm on Pong7, and pong Seven's in there. So they are in the same folder. That's, that's a really important point. Um, now that you can, you can work around that if you know what you're doing, but uh, for beginners, this is probably the easiest way to do things. And so, uh, basically it's really simple. When do I want to play a sound? And so I'm going to play a sound when I, how can I put it, when I, when the ball either touches one of the borders uh, or bounces off of the paddle, okay? So in Mac, okay, so I'm going to use something called the OS module. And what that lets us do is basically interact with the operating system uh, through text commands. And so I've imported OS, so I can use that module. And then down here, so what I can do is I can say OS.system. That will do a system function call for us. Now on Mac, it's a play bounce.mp, bounce.wav. Okay. So this is it. This will play the sound when it hits the border. Now there's there's a problem here, and I'm going to show you that in a second. But again, let's test it. See what happens. Oops, went the wrong way. Have to wait till it hits the top. I'll turn my volume up. Oops, sorry, my bad. Uh, a play is for Linux. A F play is for Mac. Uh, let's try that again. Got that backwards. Had a 50-50 chance, and I blew it. Okay, let's listen. Now, did you notice that everything stopped while that sound played? So watch it again. Okay, that is not what we want to happen. Okay, so to get around that, at the end of this command, we need to add an ampersand. That's the and symbol. Okay, so again, let's test it. And now watch, it will not delay. Okay, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit off, but that's, you know, neither here nor there, I suppose we'll have to deal with that. Um, okay, I think actually what I would probably have to do is edit this, this wave sound. There's probably a little bit of a, a blank space at the beginning of it. Um, so that's, that's it uh, on Mac. Okay, so let me uh, copy that. And let's say we want to play it when it bounces at the top, bottom, and when it touches the paddles. So we just need to put, oops, why did I do that? Okay, so let's test it. So again, I got it working once, now I just copy and paste. So it should bounce here. Oops. Missed that. <laughs> I'm terrible at Pong apparently. Okay, now you can choose different sounds. You have one sound for when it bounces off the walls, one sound for when it bounces off the paddle, etc., etc. Okay. Now, if you are a Linux user, um, the the system is very very similar. Instead of AF play, it's A play. And that's all you have to change. Okay. Now, if you're on Windows, it's a little bit different. Um, now, I can't test it for you, but I can explain how it works. And I do have a, a video that explains this, and I'll I'll try to remember to link that down below. And uh, basically, in Windows. Instead of importing OS, you import WinSound, which is a little module that only exists on Windows. 
and then in, when you want to play your sound, instead of this os.system stuff, you would type win sound dot play sound. Again, pay attention to the capitalization. Okay, small w, capital P, capital S. Then in parentheses, so you don't need the ampersand here, but you do need a comma and then win sound dot SND async. So what that does is that same thing as adding the ampersand, uh, that'll stop if it's asynchronous, it'll play the sound in the background. If it's not asynchronous, program will stop. Uh, again, I can't show this to you because this is Mac, but uh, that should should do it. So I'm going to undo that and get back to my system. Oops, that's not what we wanted to. Oh, yeah, keep going. Yeah, A play and it's AF play. Let's leave that. I'm going to test it one more time. And that is our Pong program. Okay. Yeah, not the most exciting thing in the world, but you know, you learn a lot of different concepts. You know, how to put objects on the screen, how to move them with a keyboard, how to detect collisions, um, update the score on the screen, uh, game main loops, sounds. So basically, all the basic elements that you need to make a game are included in Pong. That's why it's one of the classics. And uh, I remember playing this as a child. It uh, brings back some memories. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, please subscribe. Uh, I have a lot of other tutorials uh, once you've mastered this that will help you to learn uh, some various Python concepts. Thanks again, and uh, we'll see you around.